Hey guys! So today we are home and we are making breakfast burritos. They are so good and they have this amazing sauce that's so tasty. It just really makes the burrito. So stick around. We know you'll love what you see and want to try it too. Alright, so we put in the peppers and onions and I'm going to season them a little bit before I put in the spinach because that takes no time at all to cook. So I'm just going to use a little bit of sea salt and some black pepper and then some onion powder and garlic powder and this just gives it a nice flavor. So we'll let those cook for a few minutes and when they're kind of like translucent looking onions then um, we'll be ready to go to the next stage. Alright now I'm just going to chop up some spinach. You don't really have to chop it but I like to make it into smaller pieces just so it's easier to eat. Alright first person sauteing mode. Look at that. Look at these skills. We don't. Look at we this. We haven't seen you yet. Watch this. I can even <laughs> do this with my eyes closed. Look. That's how good I am. Oh yeah, look at those skills right there. The eyes closed. <laughs> just kidding. All right, we're just gonna throw the spinach in and let it wilt a little bit. We use a lot of spinach because it turns into barely any anything when it's cooked. So we are making these plant-based breakfast burritos. So we are actually using um, smushed up tofu that we're going to cook and flavor so it doesn't taste really plain. Tofu is kind of like a very plain taste. But if you eat eggs and you want to use eggs instead of the tofu, you could totally do that instead. So we're just going to toss this in and I'll show you what I use to season it to make it taste really good. Okay, in the tofu goes. And it's got the um, crumbly texture of the scrambled eggs already here so I'm going to spread it out and then season it. So what I like to season it with is just salt and pepper and we'll go ahead and put the salt and pepper on and it's very plain like I said so it can take a lot of season seasoning and then again I'm going to use the um, onion powder and garlic powder And then um, we have some dip, dried dill, and that gives it a nice flavor also. You could throw any herbs you want in. We have some, we've done some parsley before, um, and that's really tasty too. Um, and then some paprika. And then what gives it a really nice flavor is nutritional yeast. It's like kind of a cheesy, nutty kind of flavor, and um, it's really great on top of the tofu. So I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch in. And then just saute it. So this part of the um, breakfast burritos is done. It's just going to cook up a little bit, and um, we're going to get to the sauce next which is my favorite part. Yum! <laughs> so we've been making these breakfast burritos a lot lately and I really like them because I've been trying to eat very healthy, you know, and have smoothies every day for breakfast, but I've been feeling, you know, not full enough. So these breakfast burritos are really great, especially if we have any leftover, we like freeze them and then you can just heat them up. They're super awesome, they taste fantastic and they're really filling. 
for the sauce. We are ready to do the sauce and it is actually cashew based. If you don't have a high powered blender, just soak your cashews ahead of time. You can even do it in hot water to make them get soft quicker and it should be totally fine in a regular blender. This is like a high powered blender and it makes everything really smooth and creamy. But like I said, the soaking the cashews should make it totally doable. And I'm really just going to kind of throw things in and estimate approximately for you guys. I don't have like cut measurements, but um, really you're just gonna blend it and then taste it and then see if you need to add anything. But let's see. Maybe like three quarters of a cup of cashews, something like that. <laughs> then we have roasted red peppers. These are all diced up already, but you could just throw in um, you know, like half of a roasted red pepper or something like that. And this gives a really great taste, really flavorful. Then I'm going to add the seasoning. So I'm going to use some salt. So use as much or as little as you um, like to use. Uh, liquid aminos, you could also use soy sauce, just a dash. It gives it a little bit of a umami flavor. Uh, again with our garlic powder and onion powder. I use that all the time so it's very handy flavorful seasonings. A little pepper and uh, some smoked paprika. This gives it a really nice smoky flavor. It's just a little of that. So probably half a teaspoon of all those seasonings, uh, less of the pepper, of course. And then um, I'm gonna do some more nutritional yeast because this is sort of like a cheesy sauce. So this is about one or two tablespoons, whatever you feel like putting in. It's optional if you don't wanna use it too. And then I'm going to add a little water. So I added a little uh, extra water to make it uh, blendable, but not too much so that it's just like um, a drink, <laughs> but just enough that it's creamy and nice. So I'm going to blend it now and then taste it to see if I want to change any seasonings and add more. All right, I'm going to taste it. Look how nice and creamy that looks. And also when you use dry cashews, and then you blend it with liquid. Um, if it sits for a while, it thickens up because I think the cashews like start absorbing the water. So um, it's okay if when you blend it from dry cashews that it's a little bit thinner, it'll get thicker. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add a little bit of lemon. It tastes really good already. It doesn't really need it, but the lemon adds a little bit of nice um, perkiness. All right, it tastes delicious. And I'm just gonna pour it into a bowl. Look at that deliciousness. And that is gonna be added to our breakfast burritos. Yum. All right, we're ready to fill our burritos. We have our completed tofu scramble, or you can, you know, like I said, you could use your egg scramble. Um, we have our delicious sauce. Look how creamy and delicious that is. Oh my gosh tastes so good. And then we have a um, salsa, any kind you like, you know, make it spicy if you like it spicy or mild if you like it mild. So we're going to put them in these wraps. You can use whatever kind of wrap you like. If you need to have a gluten free wrap, use that or just a regular flour wrap. Either way is fine. Um, so we're just going to put a little filling. This is the nerve wracking part because <laughs> that you need less filling than you think for these because otherwise it's way harder to roll it up. So that's probably about enough. And then I'm gonna drizzle on some delicious sauce. And then add a little bit of salsa. Look how good that looks. Okay. And then the moment of truth. Let's see. I'll go like this. <laughs> Pull it in. Yes, I think it's going to work. 
All right, we have our burrito. Look at that, you guys, it came out perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna fill up the rest of these wraps with some tofu scramble. We're gonna eat some of them and then the rest we're gonna freeze. And they're really easy to, you could just pop them in the microwave if you wanna do that and do like a minute, flip it a minute, and then it's all set. So um, we love these, these are so, so tasty. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut this in half and see what it looks like. Maybe I'll do a diagonal. Oh, look at that, that Delicious. looks great. And you know what? You can add a little more sauce and just eat it like that. It's so good. Why don't you go ahead and take a bite? I don't mind if I do, guys. <laughs> I could eat these like every morning. They're so good. Yeah, so could I. Look at that sauce. So guys, these are the finished products. We can't wait to eat these. I don't know how many are gonna actually make it to the freezer, we'll see. But <laughs> they're great in the freezer, as I said. And they're really delicious. That sauce that I made, you can just like dip these in as you're eating it, it's so tasty. So I hope you're having a great day. Come back tomorrow for more episodes with Kurt and Sarah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Oh, my God. Look at all of those burritos to freeze up. We have nine burritos, and we would have had more, but we ate a bunch. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm so happy we have these ready to go now. And so easy and tasty. And even if the power goes out tonight with that cold weather coming, we'll just put them outside. We'll stay frozen. <laughs>